Okay, in this quick tutorial for new Blender users, I'll show you how to control the timing of your fluid simulations. And you should be familiar with the tutorial I just posted on controlling the direction of your fluids, and I'll probably do another one on that as well. But in this case, notice what I have. I have this, in fact, I'll run through the animation here. Let's see what it looks like from the beginning. And you can see it's moving kind of slow. It's falling kind of slow. And that's not because I've slowed the simulation itself down, it's because I've slowed the gravity down, which I mentioned in the previous tutorial. And you can see that in here. If I grab the domain and I look in the physics tab, I come down here, notice that I have the gravity settings at negative two meters per second squared in the Z direction. All right, and I show you how to do this in the previous tutorial. And But the, the really important thing about controlling the timing is this start speed and end speed and then over in here under your render tab the number of frames per second so I have 30 frames per second set in this case and then so for in that case it'd be here's a 10 second simulation that I want it to take place and at 30 frames per second that means I need 300 frames so that's why I have my simulation going from 1 to 300 like this and the important thing about this is to make sure you set this number of frames before you bake your simulation all right because if I don't if I if I just stop this let's stop this and let me say maybe I have my frame set down at 120 like that then what's going to happen if I'll bake this in fact I'll even drop it down lower so we can see it just go quicker like that and I'll bake this real quick see how long it takes it shouldn't take but a moment oh except I'm recording but still it should be pretty fast yeah it's pretty quick all right so I'm still saying I want a 10 second simulation all right now I've but I have it at only 120 frames and then after the simulation finishes baking then I'm going to put it back up to 300 frames here down here okay so there it is and now that I'm going to come back here I'm going to change this to the 300 frames like this so now when I come back and play it you can see the entire, entire simulation is going to take place right there in the 120 frames and then the rest of this is going to be lost so now it's not now it's not running at regular time so it's not really you're not negative two meters per second squared for gravity here you've accelerated it just because you didn't have it there so that's really the point of the lesson is make sure you have you time your gravity put your frames in advance make sure you have your keyframes you number your frames per second to match it as well and then your simulations will turn out okay. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.